Hey there, sound snobs. So today we are going over a test I did with fiberglass versus 100% hemp dope. The test coming up is between, I'm sorry to say, the GIC panel that I've been using in my other tests. I'm open to using other panels, I just don't have them. So uh, if you have one that you, you want me to test, bring it by. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm looking to test against melamine or mineral wool or other forms of fiberglass, different densities, different layers. The GIC 442 is a five and a half inch panel, maybe a little less than five and a half inch. It has a little less than four inches of fiberglass in it. It might actually be four inches, but it's it's crushed a little bit. This is not just any fiberglass. All insulation is not the same. There has been a lot of money and time invested into research and development to bring us Owens Corning 703 or Rockwool Comfort Bats and Rockboard. Here is the GIC 244 Broadband. It measures 24 inches wide, 49 inches long, which covers more surface area than my 16 inch wide and 48 inches long dope panel. The dope panel is part of our upcoming Keiko collection and is 100% dope. Except for the wrap. It's wrapped with polyester. Polyester? Inside is all hemp dope. The frame is actually 100% American made recycled plastic lumber using no virgin oil. We framed with it and just shoved a bunch of hemp inside essentially. And so it's only 2.5 inches deep. The five and a half inch deep panel, the fiberglass uh, has an inch or a little bit more space in the back to create an air gap. Now you can do this with our panel too. You just add a little spacer to get it off the wall and, and improve your low end absorption. At 10,000 Hertz, the sound pressure level for the panel with four inches of fiberglass showed 34.5 decibels of gain reduction, where the dope panel with 2.5 inches of hemp showed 37.3 decibels of gain reduction. At 5,000 Hz, the 4 inches of fiberglass showed a 26.6 decibels of gain reduction, and the 2.5 inches of hemp showed 25.4 decibels of gain reduction. At 2,000 Hz, the fiberglass had 22.3 decibels of gain reduction, and the hemp had 30.7 decibels of gain reduction. At 1,000 Hz, the fiberglass showed 10.8 decibels of gain reduction, and the hemp had 14.6 decibels of gain reduction. At 500 Hz, the fiberglass showed 7.2 decibels of gain reduction and the hemp showed 5.5 decibels of gain reduction. At 250 hertz, the fiberglass showed 1.8 decibels of gain reduction, and the hemp showed the exact same amount. At 125 hertz, the fiberglass showed 0.9 decibels of gain reduction, and the hemp showed 3.6 decibels of gain reduction. At 60 hertz, fiberglass showed 0.7 decibels of gain reduction, while the hemp showed 2.6 decibels of gain reduction. Here is a spectrogram without a panel. Now with fiberglass, now with hemp. Do. No panel, hemp. Do. Fiberglass, hemp. Do. Fiberglass. A waterfall graph offers another view of these acoustic tests. This is one without a panel. Here is a waterfall graph of the panel with fiberglass. And here is a waterfall graph of the dough panel with 2.5 inches of my custom hemp composite. Do. Fiberglass, hemp. Do. Fiberglass, hemp. Do. Fiberglass, hemp. Do. Fiberglass. Hemp. Do. Thanks for hanging out. Please like and subscribe so I can provide you with more tests and circumstantial science.